welcome back everyone and today we're doing full body pilates workout very effective weight loss and full body toning exercises so let's begin from the good quality warm-up and let's begin on our knees in a tabletop position today so go ahead and set your wrist elbow shoulders one on top another knees guys underneath your hips and roll that spine all the way up scoop the belly in start to focus on the centering and on exhalation drop the belly in express through the chest do it a couple more times we need to wake up the body first so we can have safe and effective workout and burn a lot of calories and bring a lot of strength and flexibility in this body and one more time with me guys so all the way nice and steady movements with control all the way stop right here in the center and take your one leg up good job take your another arm all the way forward and i want you to reach really nice and long waking up entire entire body from the fingertips to the tippy toes very active extension seam very active one go ahead and take the arm on the side leg as far on the side as you can it doesn't have to be perfect three two one very good take that hand back and draw the knee chin chest or belly all the way four three waking up the center point your toes guys two and one more up and push hold with me for four three two come on back up round that spine relax your neck we do the same from the other side guys we're gonna take our other arm up and forward extend the opposite leg pull the belly in and extend your body from the fingertips to the tippy toes all the way nice and long super active extension go ahead and take that arm on the side take your leg on the side as far as you can hold for four three two and back go ahead and take the hand back on the ground for knee to the chin chest or even nose all the way to exhalation sorry exhalation one more we're ready for the push-up waking up the arms bicep tricep shoulder and back four three two and hold on great work guys take your knees back on the floor relax drop the hat relax your neck one more time reach all right hopefully you avoid waking up slowly step by step all right guys go ahead and take your toes under if you're not hovering that's okay maybe just the one knee and hover with me guys our first hover up here pick up your belly stay strong all the way nice and neutral spine breathe guys actively breathe actively we have eight more counts to hold together anytime you need to release your knees please do then come back with us all right guys we're gonna walk backwards one two three four to the low squat weight away from the knees three two one we walk back to the hover one two three four hover guys four three two knees on the floor you're doing a great job reach all the way in circle one Two, we're still on the warm up. Three, point your toes, guys. Four, reach one more push up. You can do it all the way. Hold for four. Three, two, come on back up. Spine all the way up. Drop the hat, relax, restore. We're gonna go for the other side, hip circle, lift the leg. Straight, defined. It doesn't have to be super wide. Point your toes, guys, all the way. Hip slack, hip flexor is waking up. And chest, guys, right in between. Your hands push. Hold three, two, hold one. Come on back up. Round that spine. Relax your neck. We're gonna be walking back, guys, from the hover back to your slow squat chair. Go ahead. One, two, three, four. All the way. Hold, 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 hold beautiful keep on breathing guys keep on breathing 
Come on back, we're walking back together. One, two, three, four, hover. This time, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take the right leg up and hold. If it's too much for you, go into your table top. Beautiful, three, two, one. Step forward for your lunge position. Give me a good quality arm reach. Beautiful, step to your hover. Four, guys, three, don't give up. Two, we're ready to take the other leg up if you can. And four, three, two, one. Step forward for your lunge position. Do the best what you can. Step through the tabletop. Square the hips. Four, guys. Three, two, we're ready to step back to the hover position. Beautiful. And hold with me for four, three. Excellent job. All right, guys, we are walking back. Four, one, two, three, four. Nice and low tier. You got it. Three, two, one. Come on back up this time. Grab your one hand, top the same side, foot out, and reach all the way to the side. Very good. Lateral straight. Come on back and do it to the other side. Top out the same side arm, wrist, and the toes out. Very good. Perfect. Come on back, guys. Are we walking back to the plank? Vertebra by vertebra. Touch the floor. Whoa, guys. Four, three, two, one. We're ready for the arms and leg lifts together. If you need to set your one knee, on the floor, this is totally fine. So right arm, left foot, four, three, two, one. Take your elbows on the floor, push yourself into the dolphin, pull the belly in. Come on back, exhalation, other side. Four, three, set the knee on the floor if you have to. Come back, go ahead, pull your hips back, elbows on the floor. All the way, drop the head, relax your neck, collarbones wide. We are not in a hurry. Come on back. Four, guys. Three, two, come on back, all the way. We're practicing together, shift the hips back. Elbows parallel to each other, wrists parallel to each other if you can. Shift the weight back. You got it. One more time. Reach, wrist. Superstars, don't give up. Take it back with control. Slowly hips back. All the way. Drop the hat. Relax your neck, guys. Beautiful. Come back to your plank. And if you need to put one knee on the floor, definitely do it if you don't have to. We top hand and knee from the opposite sides. Top. One, two, good job. Three, four, building stability in the core. Five, six, seven, don't stop. Eight, all right. Other side, guys. Stay connected with the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're walking back to the tabletop. Step, step, all the way knees on the floor. Reach up and open. Very good. And back all the way, drop the head, relax the neck. We have a couple more exercises in a bear hover. Then we're gonna go back to the plank for the leg pull front. Come back with me. You can always replace hover with the tabletop. All right, knees underneath the hips, wrist, elbow, shoulder. The leg is extended, we top. Top behind, top to the front. Top behind, on the level with the knee. Top behind, level with the knee. Top behind, level with the knee. Top behind, with me guys. All the way, activate that one supportive leg. Upside down V, point your toes, scoop the belly in. Hover to your bear. All the way top. Come on back while you top behind. I want you to try to fail 
those obliques very actively on the side where you top. So try to top farther. Come on back up. Exhalation through the mouth. One last time. Hover. Top far. Come back. Reach. Beautiful. Take your foot back. Knees on the floor. Give me the good quality. Hip circle. One. Two. Three. And we're going to go to the other side. Hover top. Then we'll, we will repeat hip circles and then plank leg pull front. All right. Here we go. Reach, guys. Up one. Side far. Two. Side far. Three. Beautiful. Four. Are you ready? And top. And reach, extend. Expand. Stay strong. All the way centering. Control. Concentration. Precision. Breath and flow. Hover. Top. Try to chop far. So you can feel those obliques. All right. Hover first. Top. Far. All the way. Almost there. And hover, guys. And up. And back. We back, guys, on our knees for the opposite direction. Hip circle. Mm -hmm. And one. And to recover your breathing. And three. That's it. And four. Leg pull front. So if you need to be on your knees, this is totally fine. With only 16, you will point your toes and kick from the glute. Activate the belly. One, two, kick it, kick, kick. Point the toes just right in between the hands, right in between the hands. Beautiful. We're halfway through. One, two, four, men control. Three, four, five, higher, six, Seven, eight, knees on the floor. Give it a good quality stretch to those arms. Take your palms inward and up. And lean back towards the sit bones. That is it. Good work, guys. Come on back to the center all the way. Tuck your toes. Extend all the way to the upside down V. Good job. And slowly, guys, step with me to the front. Squat to your low squat. We're going for alternate heels and pump shoulders away from the ears. And then we're going to be ready for the sit down and uh, lay down on the fine position exercises today. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Hold your right heel up. Hold your right heel up. Four, three, two. Step to the plank with me. All the way. Step, step. You got it. Left, forward. Step, low, hover, squat. Step, step, step. Left, right. Left. Right, hover. One more time, guys. Watch your form. Step, step, plank. Left, right, all the way. Breathe, alternate. Eight, seven, I know, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left heel lifted. All the way. Step right back. Right. Then left. Now again right. Right. Left bend. Heels lifted. One. Right left. One. Back. Let's go. All the way. Touch. Lift. We have only two more. Right left. Step wide. Step wide. Back. Heel lifted on the left. One more time, guys. And one. Two. Right, left, lift, beautiful, knees, knees, 
and we make a transfer to the seated position. Very good job. All right. That was challenging. The, the, those were challenging standing exercises. We're going to move to the seated position. And our first guys exercise up here is going to be roll back to the floor with the knees back, coming back up in double leg crunch in a seated position. Hands could be on the floor, could be lifted, whatever you will feel you can do today. All right, supported one, all the way, nice and slow. Down one, two, three, four, coming up, five, six, seven, support the legs if you have to, or you don't have to support, back on the floor, support, down. Release, 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 control, coming up. Oh, one, two, three, ready, lift both legs, support, five, six, seven, excellent form, everyone. Keep on going, we have to nice and slow, four, three, two, one, come on back up. Exhalation through the bows, reach both legs up. Arms up if you're ready. Back, release back down with control. Four, three, two, one. Come back. Up, two, three. Legs up, up, beautiful. Back, down. We're gonna go to the supine position all the way. We have a long work using our Frogger position. Legs today, a lot of core a lot of legs, a lot of arms and shoulders, so all together. Our first exercise, guys, is going to be Frogger position 100. So try to set your knees really wide apart, guys. Feet together and feet 90 degrees above the floor. Lower back on the floor. If you're a beginner, you can set your shoulders and your head on the ground. Big, strong palms. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, stronger pumps. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, knees wider. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, watch your feet, guys. One, two, three, four, five, halfway through. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Use those arms, guys. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. One, two, three, four, five. We almost there. Nice and strong. All the way. Hundred. Draw your knees towards the chin, chest or belly. Give a good rest to your neck. The next exercise, we're gonna start in a frogger position. Feet together, it's gonna be bridge. Knees together, back open in the bridge. Back to the hips on the floor, frogger, guys. All right, that's gonna be challenging, but fun and so effective in our thighs and glutes and your back. So arms on the side, let's do it together. We lift, I want you to focus first few times, do it slower with me and focus on the form. Glutes connected, now inner thighs, squeeze. Outer thighs helping, squeeze. Now open here without dropping the hips back on the floor and release. Let's do it a little bit faster. One, two, three, keep it high, keep it high, keep it high, keep it high, then release. In, up, all the way, back, control, up, together, back, release, up, together, back, release, guys, up, together, back, watch the neck, no pressure on the neck, together, back, we have only eight, but we're going to stay all the way up here, focus, on the inner thighs, outer thighs is helping, glutes connected, guys. Eight, seven, keep on breathing. Six, you got it. Five, 
work with me, all right, do not quit. Three left, two left, a little bit wider, and one left, and big one, all the way. Take your hips back on the floor, draw your knees, chin, chest, their belly, good job, everybody. All right, next exercise here is gonna be Frogger hold when your feet are 90 degrees, right? And we're going to take the hands behind on extension, Pilates position, lower leg hold, four counts. All right. Ready, guys? Set. And here we go. All the way. Four, three, two, one. Lower back must be grounded. Otherwise, legs a little bit higher. Elbows in line with your knees. Let's go. One, two, three, four, don't hurry up. Back, exhalation, pull the legs back, watch the ankles 90 degrees above the floor. One, two, three, four. Back, elbows in line with shoulders. One, two, three, four, guys. Lower back on the floor, ankles 90 degrees above the floor. Four left, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, good quality pumps, return your elbows back, in line, in line with shoulders. One more, everyone, form all the way, and back. Knees together, head on the floor, draw the quadriceps and knees towards your belly. Give it a good quality rest. All right, guys. We're gonna move to the next exercise here on supine position, which is half frogger as your leg extended, side crunch. We're gonna do four on one side and four on another side. We begin up here. We begin with the right leg in a frogger, point the toes to another. One, pump it. Again, the same side. Two, pump it. All the way, so you feel obliques and abs. Three, reach across for the crunch. Pump it. Reach across for the crunch. Reach and pump. Stay with me. We're gonna go for the other side, guys. Ready? And reach. Now, pump. And reach across. Now, pump. Go ahead again. Two left. Now, pump. Beginner, set your head on the floor every single time. Reach and pump. Knees and quadriceps over the chest. Give your body a good quality rest. Very good job. All the way, guys. Take your both feet on the ground. Extend your legs. We're gonna go for the eight roll-ups. If you need to bend your knees, feel free to bend your knees. And arms all the way above your face. Coming up. One, two, Three, four, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, seven, two, three, guys. Nice and tall. The more you do your roll ups, the easier it gets. Start your movement all the way, guys, in the center of your body. That's important. Not in the shoulders, not in the neck, not in your chest, right? Breathe, guys, all the way. Exhalation, start to use your principles. Center in. Every single movement starts in the center, in the mouth, over the peripheries. And control where you go in. All the way, we have only two to go. Give me strong and long arms on top, guys, all the way. Your weak arms nice and long and long those ears. Finish this exercise really, really with the quality. Coming back up. Beautiful. We're gonna go back, give it a tiny little break to our body, and then we're gonna repeat our roll-ups, but we're gonna do it with an even leg balance. So let's take first our legs up, all the way bend your knees in the pendulum. We're gonna give that back a little break, and then we're gonna hit it one more time for the roll-ups, a little bit more challenging way. If you will find you can do it, your first option is gonna be is to bend your knees and keep one leg extended, another knee bent, two more guys. 
remind, uh, look at the distance between the knees and feet, right? Try to remain those distances the same. So, and if, if it's not gonna be possible, even with the one leg, even with the one leg back bent and on the floor, then just do the previous variation with the knees bent, just a roll up. So one leg above the ground, another you holding, and we come up all the way. This is a challenging one. Switch, uneven balance, pull the way, roll back. You ready? Lift, activate the center. So it guys. Slowly, feel free to put that other leg, extended one, on the floor. Lift, switch, go back. We're gonna start to practice it from now on in the upcoming next months. So we all get stronger and challenge our body. Come on up and all the way switch. We have two more. Wide breath, wide, wide breath. Reach, switch, come on back. One more time. Reach, switch. This is the final one. All the way, coming up. Reach, together, and hold, guys. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two feet on the floor. We're gonna go, guys, for roll like a ball, but not just roll like a ball today, but we're gonna add on the way back up. After you catch up the balance, you're gonna put your feet on the floor and come up, upward to the top with the little shoulder. That's gonna be fun, a little bit challenging, but we can do it. So beginners, grab the inner thighs inside up here. That's gonna be easier, everyone else. Go ahead for the ankle hold, we can start all together up here or up here. Curve that spine, look in between the knees and ankles. And here we go. Let's do just a couple more without the frogger, without the tabletop, just to maintain the form. All right, one more, just a roll as a ball. And come on up, feet together, you catch the balance. Reach up, beautiful back roll massage that back reach nice and high beautiful roll massage this back feet together lift express come on back roll massage the back lift and express beautiful ankles if you can roll massage the back feet Lift, that's good. We have only three to go. Ankles if you can. Lift, massage the back, right. Good work, everyone. Only two. One, two. On your rollbacks, always watch for your neck, right? We never want to transfer the weight on that neck. Nice and curved back. Last one, all the way up and hold with me, guys. Check your position, wrist, elbow, shoulder, everything is safe. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Activate the glutes. Four, three, two, and slowly, slowly, slowly back. All right, we're gonna stay seated. From now, go ahead and find yourself in a mermaid pose. My left is up front. So whichever one you're doing, just mirror me. And from here, guys, we're gonna begin first. Our hips rest, lift and squeeze the glutes. In order for you to get up, you have to activate the glute muscle, quad muscle. Try to hold your arms behind. If you need the help to get up, then of course use your hands on the floors on the side. If you're holding the hands here, elbows not here, it's nice and open in line with the shoulders. Here we go. Lift. It's not only great hip opener, it's a great strings for the glutes, lifting for the glutes, the muscle in between the hamstring and the glute. So our booty looks round and good. Very good. We have four to go. 
four, pull the tailbone all the way under, three, all the way under, we have two, all the way under, so rest, beautiful, reach, now pull that back, ankle slightly back, and give the body a good quality straight, four, and three, and two, come on back to the seated position, See that knee, the knee which one outside the front leg, we're going to take the hands and frame that front knee and we're going to go from the mermaid to the crisscross downward facing dog for eight times. In your upside down V or down dog, keep your neck relaxed, shoulders away from the ears. Here we go. All right. Oh, one. Give it a good quality straight. Beautiful. Sit back. Two, sit back, three, active, 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 arms, palms on the floor, good job, number four, upper arms outward, neck is relaxed guys, we have four to go, four, it's like a little corkscrew movement here, all the way, swing the hips for the half circle, Good, really good exercise for obliques, for the toning of the belly in the lower back. We have only one more, only one more. We're gonna stay up here. Stay up here with me, all the way. Shift the hips back, pull the tummy in, and reach your right arm all the way to the left ankle. Mm -hmm. Come back, come back on the floor. We're going to switch the position. So your other leg is going to be leading. And if you need to help yourself with the hands to get up, totally fine. Hip north, hands behind, elbows in line with the shoulders. Let's go do it in hips. Tailbone under, squeeze those glutes. Relax the ankles, guys. Everything in the hips and the core, too. Three. Squeeze it. You've got it. And four. Squeeze. Very good. Nice and slow landing. And five. All the way nice and slow. We have three to go. Elbows nice and wide. Come on up. Two. That's it. Last one, we're gonna hold it and give the back a good quality stretch. So move this ankle on the behind leg a little bit more inside when it's following your knee and reach up. Four, three, two, and back. We're going to sit back and continue with the Upside down V or downward facing dog with a crisscross like this. So take your both arm and frame outside knee all the way. Get ready, activate the center. Here we go. One, start slow, feel the form. Maybe you have to put your hands a little bit farther. Come back up through the half circle, guys. Little hips back like a corkscrew and hips up. And back to the seated position. Hips up. Back to the quality seated position. Up. Draw the belly in. We have three to go. Up. Use the center. Good job. We have two to go. And with me, guys. One more team. All the way. Shift the hips back. Drop the head, relax your neck. Good job. Left, all the way down toward the back bar, standing leg. Good job. Four, three, two, all the way back on the floor. We're gonna go for the tricep push up in the reverse table top. Then we're gonna do single tricep push up, single arm if you can. If not, you're gonna come back to the two arms. You can also do it on your kneeling position like this. So come back with me. 
give it a test drive, a quick test drive, right? Just go ahead and set your wrist a low shoulders, somewhere really close to be one on top of another. You're gonna see your hips moving, but it's a tricep. I want you to send your elbows back and hips are following. Watch the shoulders guys, shoulders away from the ears. And two, three, bend your elbows, four, hips following the tricep. Four left, three left, point the elbows all the way back, two left, one more everybody, one more, great job, beautiful, we're gonna send the hips back on the floor, one arm tries to push up, if you can, I'm sure you definitely have to try because you never know how strong is your body, if it doesn't flow, return to the two hands on the floor. So we're gonna fit, build the form first. Ankles, underneath the knees, shoulder, wrist, elbow, stack one on top another. All right, ready? And here we go, for one, two. Very challenging, very effective though. Isolation of one single arm gives you an amazing result, but you have to be ready for that. We have four more, guys. Four. Three. Only two more, come on. Two. All the way. One. We're ready to switch. If you're not sure, you're not sure, give it a try. Come back to the two arms, try some push-ups. Let's give it a good settled form first. Change a little bit if you have to move here and there. We are not in a hurry up. And here we go. Hold one. Bend your elbow. Two. Three. Watch the shoulder, guys. This is a lot. Down. Down. Couple more. We can do it. One. Bend your elbow. One. That's it. All the way back down. I'm so proud of you guys. All right. We will go ahead and extend the legs for the final stretches, couple final stretches. Pull your glutes out. Bring your toes up towards your face. If you can reach, use a strap or a towel. Try to activate the kneecaps and push your knees up down towards the floor. Lift the chest. Hold with me, guys, for four, three, lift the heart, two, and slowly pull up on one leg. Doesn't have to be super high. We're gonna give the legs a good quality straight. Four, three, two, put it all the way close. If it's not there, a little bit farther, and take your opposite arm across. Half spinal twist, reach nice and tall, good, four, I'm gonna hold for a few seconds, and come back to the center, reach towards the front foot, four guys, three, two, and let's switch all the way, all right, pull on that leg, keep your back nice and tall, scoop the belly in, Four guys, and three, two, beautiful, and all the way, come back, on the floor, and take it across, four, three, maintain the tall spine, doesn't have to be such a deep twist, and we're folding forward, which that you see the only on the both sides of your body. Mm -hmm. Four. And three. And come back slowly up. Go ahead and swing with me to your kneeling position and extend your knees. Walk, 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 walk. Grab your elbows, bend your knees. Give it a 
couple swings, right and left, left and right. Slowly vertebra by vertebra, come on up. Let's give the shoulders a few shoulder rolls. One direction and then all the way to the other direction. Let's do one more. All right, reach all the way. Coming up on the tippy toes with me, big reach in exhalation into the squat, reach up on the tippy toes, catch up on the balance, come on back, exhalation, and great, 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 strong job, everybody. So proud of you, we just have completed this 40 minutes challenging Pilates class. So rest well, guys, recover well. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and come back tomorrow.